Hey, welcome back. In this video, I'll be dealing with this column that was in my collection for uh, three or four years since 2019. This is a tree that has a very nice, uh, rough, wild form on the chosen front, but in fact is a chainsaw hack. You can see a plane, a flat plane here, and another flat plane here from when this piece of olive that was later made to root was cut off in several pieces I don't know by whom uh, since I've had this olive in my collection I haven't done anything other than trying to keep it healthy and pruning a little bit the extensions to to favor ramification in the past as you can see here I cut this channel here and there was a little branch that didn't survive the operation that I tried to bend and make a self tanuki going throughout all here uh, to make this face more similar to this however inspecting pictures of ancient olives it becomes apparent that another solution would be to simply carve away all this flatness here and eventually the, the dead wood would look gray and old if you look at ancient olives um, you see any form you like gnarly old but uh, hollow and twisted or not hollow and so my idea for this is to maintain this as a front um, but the work for now is to hollow this a little bit to make it look a bit more natural uh, this part here looks already natural with respect to some images of olives that we can find but this flat area here doesn't so I will try to carve a little bit the score being careful not to touch all the live vein here um, and perhaps using this as a sort of a guide for the shape close to this live edge uh, but really trying to hollow a little bit and remove the artificial areas. I will be using to carve my foredom with this terrier bit that uh, my friend Jonathan kindly gave to me and I will be using two pairs of gloves, anti-cut gloves. I will be using a mask to protect my face from debris and I will be using a dead man switch to power the tool. I will tie the on the on the table so it cannot move and I will never remove my two hands from the tool so this has an extra um, reach that it gives me and that will allow me to to work in this way and as such minimize the possibility of having an accident I had an accident in the past which luckily now I only have a small scar to show and you can search my videos for the video where I discuss all the safety measures that I now use for carving.
this is the end of the of the, today's work it doesn't look very artificial maybe a few points here I need to fix at the very base I removed all the flat area I also removed all the flatness in this area right now I'm adding more detail on the surface that I carved I'm making random holes and and lines and connections uh, it's very difficult to make things look random um, what I'm using here is the Dremel bit number 106 it's a very small bit round carving bit uh, and let me show you how it does so here you can see uh, the area that I just carved here is a line I did just beforehand where I come lightly and then I press harder as I go, as like so. random nooks and crannies and lines and once I either let it age on its own or paint it with a um, gouache mixed with sumo ink sumi ink then I might uh, have a similar color Sumi ink, then I might uh, have a similar color. I have been searching for a way to carve that is easy and looks natural, similar to the lines with the flying saucer that uh, Walter Paul taught me. I've been looking and I finally came up with this which is the Dremel 106 and I think they are even smaller or slightly bigger bits similar to this um, on a 1 8 shank so this is my foredom but it would work on a Dremel and the idea simply is to punch holes some lighter some deeper and connect them by lines as you can see is that you end up creating bigger holes and lines and a very random pattern that really looks like um, massive borer attacks and to me this surface of wood that I carved looks rather natural for me. and this is even before I let it age a little bit and oxidize and turn a little gray <laughs> I will continue carving this olive this time I'm using my Dremel stylo that uh, you will have seen a review uh, of in, in a previous video this time I'm using the 105 um, bit and Here we have green wood, so we could have uh, back budding in that area. From here on, it's dead.
finished styling the tree I tried to go for a round irregular canopy this being a standard species of uh, subspecies of olive the leaves are quite big I don't know really how much they can decrease through the containment of the roots but I went for a round irregular canopy that looks nice from all fronts I only removed the one branch here that you remember you saw in, uh, in the time lapse this is the original front as it was potted um, to hide all what we carved today but I kind of like a front in which there is some hint of the hollow here um, not entirely sure where and I'm happy that it works so closely from all directions that uh, it's not really necessary to choose right now. Uh, the base, the, the center of the base would be here from this front where we see only a little bit of, of this. Um, perhaps a little bit this so the front would be here um, and with the front in that position we have an apex slightly still center with the base the trunk is going to uh, the right and the defining branch would perhaps be this one here the one that carries the greatest asymmetry I tried to compress on this side and and extend on this side but at the same time creating a round canopy in the future we will see how it evolves and if we can take the uh, apex off center in one direction or another so we'll see how it evolves and and I will uh, make sure to share with you so until the next one bye bye for now <laughs>